about the Yankees for a second here. And what what else do they need to finish this roster, to finish this offseason? They clearly need a left field upgrade. They've showed that they want to do that. They've communicated at, at, as <laughs> late as of yesterday. So it looks like they're still looking to add a bullpen, but they could add somebody like that from the farm or whatnot. So would I be surprised if they didn't go to free agency route? No. Okay. But we'll see what happens there. Now, obviously, the, the monster or the elephant in the room is the, is the Steve Cohen luxury tax. And I thought they were a little bit lower, but uh, Fangraphs has them at $292 million, So that's only $1 million to play with, okay, instead of three. But, um, you know, and again, based on last year's CBA, you know, there's a new, <laughs> there's four threshold levels, 233, 253, 273, and the new one, the Steve Cohen tax, $293 million. And the only team that's over it this year, right now, are the Mets. Okay, the Dodgers, I think, were over it last year once, but and then the Mets are two-time offenders now over that threshold. See? And they're way beyond it now. They're, I think, 360 or something like that. So, And we'll get to that as, w- as well. But you know, a, a couple things. You know, Every dollar at this point, if you're a first-time offender, um, and what I mean by that is over the 233, not, not any level. If you're over the bottom level, Anything over 293, you pay 80% rate for that first-time offender. As a second-time offender, you pay a 90% rate. So let's just say they, they get over it by $10 million. Let's say the Yankees bring in uh, jerks and Pofar for left field or whatever, and it takes them to 303. Um, they have to pay $8 million in penalties next year because they'd be, uh, if they were first-time offender, but they're not. They're a second-time offender, so they pay 90%. Which they'd be nine million, so they'd pay nine million in taxes, uh, penalties after being over that that threshold. So, um, and just as uh, put in a little bit more perspective, if you're a third time offender, it's a hundred and ten percent rate. <laughs> Duh. There's nobody right now at the, at that level, but the Mets again are at. I mean, they're at the second time offender at ninety percent. I think they're over it by seventy million, so they're going to have to pay sixty million dollars or so in luxury tax penalties. Sixty million. Okay, the Yankees would only have to pay about nine if they did that. So, and I've said this before, you know, I know the Yankees have made it clear, and I emphasize this too, that they don't want to go over that. But like I said too, there's unfinished business right now in the postseason, right? I mean, in the off season. So, if you get over it, and you're only over it by ten million or something like that, it's not like the Yankees are going to have to pay the luxury tax that the Mets are going to have to pay. They are the highest revenue team in all of baseball, so they can withstand it for a year. And keep in mind, next year. They have, uh, for 2024, they have under $200 million in, co- in guaranteed contracts. So they're, they're, they would come off, like I have $100 million coming off the books. So just to put that in perspective. And so it would be a one-year hit for them. Yeah, of course, they don't like that stuff. Of course, they've made that clear. But again, it's not the, it's not a $60 million outlay on penalties or whatnot. So it's something to keep in mind, okay? And just diving into this a little bit, before, a little bit more here. Um, again, yeah, they would pay... About nine million if they're ten over. They'd be eighteen million if they're twenty over. But the Yankees don't need to go that high at over this point. So whether they trade for somebody or sign somebody like Jerks and Profar, it will probably cost at least ten million bucks. They're not going to be paying massive, massive penalties. And you don't have to pay the entire level for every single penalty. So wherever penalty you finish at, you pay the rate based on how many times you've been above any threshold at all. So um, nine million dollars would be again if they're over ten million bucks. So, but it's a ninety percent rate. For the Yankees being a second-time offender, um, I'm just looking here to see if I have anything else for you. And then again, let me know if this—you know—if this stuff makes sense. If you think they should go over at, the, at this point, you might as well go over. Just eat it for the year. And again, you're not eating again Mets level penalties. You're eating basic level penalties. So, and if you want to, you know, do your best to get past Houston, you're going to have to do it. So it's that simple. Whether people like it or not, whether they want to do it or not, at this point, and they've already gone, you know, they've given Judge the big money, they've given Rodon the big money, and, and they brought in Tommy Canely, but they're not done yet. And the only way they're going to get done is if they um, bring in somebody and get over the threshold or make a few moves. They made it clear already they're looking to move Hicks and Donaldson and willing to eat money. Okay, but are they willing to move Glaber Torres, who's the prime trade asset on the team? He's got the most trade value because that would chunk you know, a good nine million off the books or whatever it would, whatever it is, and it'll put them again ten million bucks. So they wouldn't, make, they might not even need to go over the threshold to sign somebody like Jerickson Profar, but they have to be willing to move somebody like Torres. And with DJ healthy, and and that would be the only way they're going to make move for Anthony Volpe if he comes up too. Um, 
easier, I should say, to make move for Anthony Volpe if he comes up. That's what's going to have to be done if they don't want to stay under the threshold. And we've talked about this before. So, um, But that's where they're at right now in terms of threshold. But I do think, you know, if they're not going to trade Glaber Torres, um, and I don't think they're going to get a lot, uh, you know, they're going to have to eat a good chunk. I don't think they're going to get much payroll relief trading picks. Um, but I think I do think if they eat half his contract, like $5 million per year of the 10, they'll get a couple more interested parties. I'm not exactly sure if they're going to be able to move Donaldson. I'd be shocked if they did. They're going to have to eat a boatload of that money. So, But if they're not going to trade Torres, go over the threshold and just finish the job, please. Okay. And again, you have $100 million or, or, or right around there coming off the books after 2023. So you'll go, you'll go right under all the thresholds. Again, you'll reset everything. Everything. So and you won't have to pay any penalties. Like, pretty good. That's pretty good. So anyway, let me know what you think. I think this is a good conversation to have. Um, you know, and be sure to subscribe to the channel because we have a lot of co uh, conversations like this if you're not subscribed. And if you do enjoy the content, hit the like button and the notification bell, and you won't miss anything. That's my word to you. And uh, But yeah, I mean, this is... It. And I know they're kind of struggling with this decision or trying to trying to make this you know decision as easy as possible for them. But this is a, a frustrating conversation, I think, for a lot of people. And I know how people are just like, well, look at the Mets spending. Well, again, Mets wild spending doesn't guarantee them anything either. So, and so I think the Yankees are at that 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 threshold right now where they they have to decide. Like, look, are we going to be are we going to move Torres and try to stand to the Cohen? Or are we going to not move him? And just get over the cone, eat it for the year, and then come back and reset everything next year. Like, that's the big question right now, right? And let me know what you think. Let's talk about it. Talk to you later.